I am a fraud. I have a confession that I have been meaning to tell you guys for a very, very long time. I am the false messiah. I am the shepherd who leads the sheep to the wolves for slaughter. All the accolades I have received, all the benefits I've received from being number one, I concede and pass on to the second place. I cheated on Accelerated Reader. It was the dark times of Miss Baker's fifth grade class. I remember it like it was yesterday. Now, if you guys don't know what Accelerated Reader is, it's basically a program that encouraged kids to read or gave a teachers another opportunity for a grading mark. Basically what you would do, uh, different books were rated different levels. So Berenstein Bears was maybe rated third grade while War and Peace was rated for eighth graders. And these higher level books were worth more points. The Berenstein Bears would be worth 0.5 and the Aragon and Harry Potters would be worth from 30 to 60 points. Now the reason for gaining these points were that they'd qualify you to be eligible for pizza parties, you'd be able to redeem them for cool toys or knickknacks, but for me it was honestly just about being on top. And this desire for being the best or being the highest reader of all of Warrington Elementary it drove me to dark methods to achieve my place. Not even tactics of Blitzkrieg and guerrilla warfare could match to what I did. This idea of points for prizes and, and trips and rewards no longer was accelerated reader about reading. It was about currency. I didn't like to read. But I knew how to read. If I read Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix fast enough, I could see more points than a third grader would ever see in their entire academic career reading Berenstein Bears. So that's exactly what I did. I grinded Aragon, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones. But no, I would not be the only one up to that challenge for somebody, a speed reader if you will was my rival. I'll never forget that cocky guy. It would take two weeks at the least to read a really, really thick chapter book. But this guy, this guy's skill was unmatched. He could read an entire Game of Thrones book in one day. Now, there's one thing to be talented, and there's also another thing to be crafty, clever, witty. Now, I need to explain that the way to log in to your AR Accelerated Reader account was your lunch number, your first initial, and your last name. Now, I knew my rival's last name, first name. However, I didn't know his password. So the scummy thing that I did was I stood right behind him at lunch so that when he were to exclaim his lunch number to the lunch lady, I would hear it. Now we all had little cute chimes. Mine was John Kinsor with 344. His was Blank is Alive with 355. So I had it. I was able to keep track of his every move. If his point count went up, if his point count stayed still, I'd know where his place was. And all I had to do was be just a little above it. Now to round it all back, it was that dark day of fifth grade, Mrs. Baker's classroom. My rival was at 350 points. I was lagging behind by about 30. Now, these points altogether were enough to qualify for any pizza party we wanted or redeem any prize behind the librarian's desk. I wasn't in it for the prize anymore. I was in it for the glory. 
for the recognition, for the accolades. It was about three days to the deadline, to the deadline where they would say, once this hour passes of school on this very day, any points counted towards your account wouldn't count. Let's say you're one point away on that final hour. If you took your one point quiz after the day was over, it didn't count you were still second place. I knew I couldn't read a book long enough to reach that size. A 20 point book, unheard of. How am I gonna finish that within two days? I wasn't determined enough for that. But what I was determined enough for was to grind tiny Bernstein Bears 0.5 point books to inch myself closer every day to that 350 mark. There were even times set aside for kids to read in order to push their points towards their final goal. It was mainly for those plebeians to reach that 100 point level to be eligible for a pizza party. But I used that time to grind the Sigma grind set. All I needed to do was complete 1.5 book. As I've been foreshadowing and mentioning all this time, Bernstein Bears, they got me past that finish line. So I walked up to that computer in the library, I logged into my account, I took my test, and I did it. At the end of the day, I won. I got my trophy, I was recognized as the top accelerated reader of my elementary school. The parents of my rival even tried to have us share this top spot because the difference was so decimal, so minute. However, the evidence is empirical. I am a decimal above him. It doesn't matter what size, what distance, one points, 10 points, point one points. I was higher in the point value than he was. So now that I've explained to you my tale, I do concede. The guilt has been eating me up. It's like the heart beating below the floorboards. Edgar Allan Poe. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the emotional distress, the self-esteem issues, the I can't do it anymores. I'm sorry for the trauma I've caused you. Anyways, that's all for me. See ya.